nation, it's also about leadership. You're aware of the criticism from many candidates on this stage tonight that you co-authored the so-called Gang of Eight bill that would have created a path to citizenship for people here illegally. Governor Christie has said of you, as soon as you felt the heat, you turn tail and run. Governor Bush has said, I don't think we need people cutting and running anymore. Did you fight for your own legislation, Senator, or did you run from it? Here's the bottom line. We can't get that legislation passed. The American people will not support doing anything about people that are in this country illegally until the law is enforced first and you prove it to them. This has been abundantly clear. Every effort over the last 10 years to do those comprehensively has failed. And it has failed because the American people have zero trust that the federal government will enforce our laws. And that's why since then I have said repeatedly, if you are serious about immigration reform, then the key that unlocks the door to being able to do that is not just to pass a law that says it's going to enforce the law, but to actually do it. To hire the 20,000 new border agents, to finish the fencing and walls, to put in place mandatory E-Verify, to put in place an entry-exit tracking system to prevent visa overstays. And once that's in place and that's working, I believe the American people will support a very reasonable but responsible approach to people that have been here a long time, who are not dangerous criminals, who pay taxes and pay fines for what they did. But until then, none of that is going to be possible. But I'm asking, did you fight for the legislation at the time, or did you run from it as your... Well, the legislation passed, but it has no support. In essence, it couldn't pass in the House. It will never pass in the United States until we secure the border. And it's not the way we're going to do it when I'm president. When I am president, we are going to, we are going to enforce the law first, prove to people that illegal immigration is under control, and then we'll see what the American people are willing to support when it comes to people that are not criminals, who have been in this country for a long time, and who otherwise would like to stay. Governor Christie? Yeah, yeah, David, I'd just like you to, to listen again, everybody. This is the difference between being a governor who actually has to be responsible for problems and not answering a question. The question was, did he fight for his legislation? It's abundantly clear that he didn't. It's abundantly clear that he didn't fight for the legislation. When the teachers union attacked me with $20 million of ads because I wanted to reform teacher tenure, I fought them and fought them and fought them and I won. When they didn't want, when they, people wanted to raise taxes in my state, a Democratic legislature, and threaten to close down the government, I told them, fine, close down the government, I'll get in my cars, head to the governor's mansion, order a pizza, open a beer, and watch the Mets. You can call me when the government reopens. And guess what they didn't do? They didn't pass a tax increase because I vetoed it, and they never closed the government because they knew I would fight for what I believed in. The fact of the matter is, a leader must fight for what they believe in, not handicap it and say, well, maybe since I can't win this one, I'll run. That's not what leadership is. That's what Congress is. Governor, thank, thank you. you. Senator Rubio. Rubio. Leadership, leadership is ultimately about solving the problem. And the approach that was tried and has been tried now repeatedly over 10 years to do this comprehensively all at once in a massive piece of legislation has no chance of passage. It is not leadership to continue to try something that has no chance of happening. I want to make progress on this issue. It has been discussed now for 30 years and nothing ever happens. And I am telling you that the only way forward on this issue that has any chance of happening, meaning gaining the support of the American people, you cannot do this without the support of the American people, is an approach that begins by proving that once and for all illegal immigration is under control. Senator Rubio, thank you. We want to turn